Hi, I'm Tom Jordan, and in this update, we've got something very exciting. We've got question sets, which is a great new addition to Malcolm Workflow. Here we are in the My Malcolm Workflow Builder. I'm going to build a workflow that asks the customer about their property portfolio, and this will show off the new question set feature really nicely. Um, so here we are, basic workflow name, email address, telephone number. I'm now going to create an area where they can tell me about their properties, and we may not know how many properties they have. Uh, if I click sets, I can drag in the question set element onto the form. Uh, as usual, if you click on any element, you have various um, customization options. I'm going to rename a few things. I'm going to call this your properties. Uh, it gives you some default uh, questions, but they're not actually uh, appropriate for this. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to um, enter some new ones. I'm going to do address. I'm going to do uh, date of purchase. I'm going to do property value. Now, obviously, this is a demo. You you, you might want to change these, uh, obviously, for for your particular use case. Um, every question that you put, Malcolm will have a a guess at what that relates to. So we can see here it's worked out that address is surprise surprise, an address type field, um, date of purchase. It's put that as text. Let's actually change that to date various other things we can change. Um, property value, we want that uh, to be a number. So let's do and choose that. Um, and you can choose all sorts of validation, default values, all that sort of stuff. Um, we'll again um, change a few little bits of descriptive text here. And you'll see whether you will come in in a moment. And that basically adds this element onto the form. Now, if we click preview, we'll see what this looks like on the front end. Uh, and we can see here, uh, we have the name, email address, telephone number, and then this is the new area. So as your customer fills out the form, when they get to this area, they would hit add a property, uh, and then they can detail their property. Obviously, these are just dummy values. Um, they can choose a date of purchase. They can choose a property value. And that will create a row and they can go on and create more of these and uh, these can be infinite or you can specify um, an upper or lower number of these depending on, on what actually the data you're selecting is what your business rules are etc etc so this this new question set area is really great when you need to collect information like you know names and addresses or uh, requests for something or something like a property portfolio where you need to collect um, potentially one or more bits of information and you need to replicate the rows but you don't know how many you need to replicate this question set field uh, will handle all that for you